So far, so good as no one has yet stormed Area 51. Thank you for joining us tonight at 6. I'm Kirsten Joyce. And I'm Denise Valdez. There are plenty of people enjoying all the festivities, though. And 8 News Now has you covered with live team coverage. Vanessa Murphy is in Rachel, but we begin tonight with George Knapp live in Heiko at the Alien Research Center. And George, so far, really just kind of a small handful of arrests out there, right? Small crowd here, but uh, when the sun goes down, I think everyone here is expecting a big crowd. We just saw a giant bus pull in here. We think that is uh, the star entertainer of the evening, the DJ Paul Oakenfold. Uh, and he and his team have just arrived, and there are a lot of attractions here, and it's a beautiful evening in Lincoln County regardless. And, uh, you know, I don't want to jinx anything, but so far the predictions of gloom and disasters simply have not materialized. The, the crowds at both events have been well behaved, and no one has been dumb enough to try and storm Area 50. So far, and that is likely because multiple government agencies have displayed a major show of force. Of all the strange, inexplicable encounters reported in the vicinity of Area 51 over the years, this one might be the biggest surprise of all. It happened as we made the long drive across Tickaboo Valley toward the main entrance to the secret base. I'm good, how are you doing? We're with Channel 8 out of Las Vegas. Okay, how many people in the car? Three. Awesome. Yeah, we're in So we're going to ask the vehicle to stay here. Sure, yeah, uh, of course. And then there's, uh, you can welcome to walk down and photograph and videotape, you know, as you wish. The security forces that guard Area 51 are known by many names and for many things, but courtesy has never been one of them. That's never been their job. The so-called camo dudes who lurk on hilltops and pounce on anyone who crosses the line into the base have taken a back seat for this week's events, but security at the base has never been tighter. And the word came down from the Pentagon from either Secretary of Defense or Secretary of the Air Force, the perimeter at Area 51 will not be penetrated period. The military has deployed extra personnel and special gear to make sure no one slips into the base. Sources have told us that non-essential base employees were told to stay home, so the familiar bus with blacked out windows won't likely be seen. But they needn't have worried. Check out the command and communication center that's popped up in the desert on the ET highway. The entrance is protected by a massive Metro SWAT vehicle. Inside are dozens of mobile centers from different agencies, state, local, and federal. This is what the gate into Area 51 looked like back in the mid-80s. Reporters could stroll up and capture video no problem. That gate is now miles behind the outer edge of the base. For this week's events, both the public entrances to Area 51 have been staffed with around-the-clock law enforcement presence, along with other extras. A new gate where one never existed before. Strings of barbed wire, special surveillance and communications equipment. The officers we spoke to say everyone's been respectful of the line. They chit chat, snap photos, and leave. No one's been arrested for trying to storm Area 51. And had anyone tried, even a large crowd, they would have faced serious challenges. I heard that they were bringing as much, as many le non lethal crowd control equipment as possible. Uh, microwave, and they call it a brown sound. It's a sound that hits you, and you relieve yourself in all your orifices. <laughs> And that sort, of, that sort of diminishes your enthusiasm for going through the fence line. As of late this afternoon, there had been only a handful of arrests. I think three was the total, uh, and none of those were for anyone trying to storm Area 51. There was about 150 people gathered this morning, about 3 a.m. at the gate, but they all behaved themselves. One uh, major traffic accident up here, but that's about it. The sheriff of Lincoln County says he's going to hold a news conference this evening to give us an update on how things have gone so far, but looks pretty smooth. Reporting live from the ET Highway, George Knapp, 8 News Now. Hey, George, I don't know if you know the answer to this, but Maddie Roberts, the fellow who started this whole Facebook page several months ago, was in Las Vegas last night for a small gathering. Any idea if he's going to be out there and talk to some of the crowd over the weekend? I don't think Maddie Roberts is welcome in Lincoln County. In fact, I've been told that in no uncertain terms by a number of people out here, including some law enforcement folks. So I suggest that's not a good idea.